right now at five. I thought it was a technical difficulty after the first shot, but after the second shot, I saw the gun in. The search for answers after a video game tournament ends in deadly gunfire. It wasn't, it wasn't this event. No, there was no security. Tonight, new information on the Jacksonville mass shooting. Late this afternoon, we learned the shooter at yesterday's competition had previously been hospitalized for mental illness. And police say his victims were specifically targeted. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live tonight in Jacksonville with new information on the investigation. Ted. Rudy Van Elliott, tonight the sheriff is releasing a lot of uh, new details in this case. For example, we now know that he walked into that restaurant carrying two handguns as well as extra ammo and that he bought those guns legally in Maryland, that despite reports from the Associated Press that he had a stint in the hospital for mental illness. My cousin has to bury her firstborn. And it is just as terrible as that sounds. Our family has been forever changed. Nothing will replace the love that we have for Elijah. The family of murdered gamer Elijah Clayton in Jacksonville from Southern California after learning he was shot while competing in a video gaming competition. Elijah's family wants you to know that he was a good man. He did not believe in violence. He never even had a fist fight. The mass shooting was caught on streaming video of the competition. Toshiba Sharon was the announcer. He tells a frightening story of how bullets missed him by just inches. Oh, I had um, another another gentleman um, that was actually commentating the game with me. He was sitting right next to me on my left hand side. And he was coming, excuse me, commenting, <clears throat> commentating with me. And um, he was shot twice in the chest, and I'm and I was I just couldn't believe he was shot because you know he was right next to me. Now we're learning more about the suspected killer, David Katz. Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams tells us he was armed with a 45, a 9 millimeter, and extra ammo. Court records also reveal he had been hospitalized in the past for mental illness. It appears the mass shooting was caught on camera. So the investigation has continued around the clock since yesterday. A video surveillance footage from inside the restaurant clearly shows that this is a single shooter incident and that the suspect took his own life after shooting the victims. Sheriff Williams also tells us it appears Katz had specific targets. The suspect clearly targeted other gamers who were in the back room of a Chicago Pizza participating in this gaming tournament. Uh, the suspect walks, uh, walked excuse me, past patrons uh, who were in other parts of the business and focused his attention uh, on the gamers. And tonight, the sheriff still cannot give us a motive, and he cannot confirm statements or address the statements that Katz was angry about being eliminated from that competition. Live in Jacksonville, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.